Hello, in this video we are going to be presenting in brief how EC Tools and CI Engineer 2011 can be used in order to design, analyze and design complex modern high-rise reinforced concrete buildings. The first building we are doing is the Piraeus Bank Romania headquarters in Bucharest. The building has been designed in 2009 and is now in commission and we see it here in the photograph and we also see its typical upper structure layout formwork. It has two stiff complex cores in the back, it has two walls with openings in the front and one wall with a door also in the back. Also the building has uh, four basements which are actually extend beyond the plan layout of the superstructure and it, it consists of 18 stories plus 4 basements. Some of the stories like the top and the mezzanine are reduced in layout. We see here the plan view of all the concrete cores, actually the cross sections and then we are going to see this Moisy Engineer. We see it here, it has several different load case definitions which have then been grouped into dead and live load combinations. We also have the seismic combination, the seismic excitation, which is an SRSS seismic excitation in the X and the Y direction, and also the equivalent static load cases. We also see the load combinations, the dead and the live. And after we calculate the building, we export the XML file for EC Tools through plugins EC Tools, where we save the corresponding XML file in the same directory as we have the ESA model of the building. And we close the building model after saving it with all the calculated results. We then the corresponding EC Tools project file which is already prepared or we create a new one if it is not prepared where we have all the make, saved all the selections required for this building the Psi2 factors, the ductility class, the checks to be performed, the Eurocode national annexes and also we have already prepared all the cross sections of this complex cores within NUS. We see for example one typical cross section, we see another cross section, we see a more complex core and we proceed with the calculation of this complex building. The intermediate table pops up where we have the sections as we saw before, all the sections and the complex sections. We have the attributes to the beams, columns and walls which need to be updated with the complex ones and we go through to the design. The design is performed extremely fast, we will see that for the whole design with the biaxial moment axial force interaction and for 505 beams, 247 columns and 117 wall sections we have a total time of 14 seconds in this particular PC. We have the final design report which has all the general information, it has all the Eurocodes checks in the upper stories, it has 
the torsional sensitivity, the infield sensitivity, the interstory drifts, the maximum drifts, and we also have the Eurocode 2 fire resistant checks, and then we have the results for beams, columns, and walls, where indicatively we can see one wall with opening. This is the wall in the back, a rectangular wall in the back. We can also see a wall. It is the same wall in another story. We can see the facade wall with the opening, with the window opening. We can see the central core, which is in high compression due to its height. And we can also see prepared DXF by EC tools, which has a 3D model of the building with also the attributes of the wall, the peer names, the wall names, and all the other attributes that have been performed within EC Tools and how EC Tools perceives this building. We see that all the basement walls have been ignored in EC Tools because they do not contribute to the seismic response of the building. The second building we are going to be presenting is the better office building in Novi Belgrad, Serbia, which is a building that was designed in 2010 and is now in commission. The building has been designed following both Eurocode 8 and the current Serbian status. However, in this example, it is being presented as a Eurocode 8 and 2 design. We are going to have a look at the layout of the building. The building consists of four independent structural units from which we have modeled one of the four, building B1. We see that building B1 has a peculiar plan layout and it has actually many walls and some moment resisting frames. It is essentially a flat slab system, a flat slab wall system with more than 80% of the base here received by walls. We see all the walls that are present in the plan, complex core sections and rectangular walls with and without openings and with and without end columns. We also see that this building has two basements which are actually e extending beyond the plan layout of the superstructure. The building has actually as we see here, 11 stories, two of which are basements. We see the materials which are different for each element type along the height. And we will go quickly to the model as it has been prepared in C Engineer with 1D elements, with wall elements for the walls, with openings to model the windows and the doors, and with additional ribs to model the beams of the plates. We have also here many load cases and we have additional load combinations which are a wind combination and a snow combination which is defined with its respective safety factors. These two combinations will be additionally designed by EC tools. After we calculate the project, we go to Plugins, EC Tools, where we export our XML file to the location of the ESA file, to the same folder. And after exporting, we close the model after there's a model after we save the results we need to save the results after saving these results we corresponding etp file of the project which has already been presented prepared or it could be a new one by making all these selections that already made here we Also select to 
start the design procedure. We get the intermediate table with the materials, the sections, the columns and the walls. The walls obviously need to be updated with the concrete core sections that have been prepared. We see them here, one complex section. We can see another one which is P5. And after we update the highlighted wall sections, we continue with the design where we select the snow combination and wind combination to be designed as no seismic. We perform the design and we will be able to review the results. We see that the design for 322 beams, 322 columns and 59 walls takes 14.86 seconds. We see the general results of the design and we also see Eurocode 2 checks and we go to see the beam design where we can review it. We can review the column design at any location obviously at the base we don't have a lot of moments we also see the wall design at specific stories for example story 1 wall p2 Story 1, wall P3. We can have Story 1, wall P4. P5. P6. And P7. Thank you very much for your attention. You can download these examples from programs, easy tools, see examples, download additional examples. Thank you very much.